my eyebrows are done and I went ahead and applied my primer um, but the camera didn't catch that because I didn't hit record and I just blended that in with a dual fiber brush sometimes I do sometimes I don't it just depends on how I feel to be completely honest with you um okay so that's done foundation wait I don't want to use foundation just yet I'm gonna go in and set the primer that I just put in, put on my face. Okay, now we can do foundation. For foundation, I'm using the Sephora S Clean, Clean Glowing Skin Foundation, and I'm in the shade 33. It's like this. It caught my eye one day when I was in Sephora. I was like, wait a minute, Sephora has makeup? Like, I know they have brushes and lipsticks and stuff like that, but I never knew that they had foundation. Caught me by surprise. And like I said, I'm the shade 33. Your brush. Thank you for calling Hand and Stone Massage and Facial Spa located at 606 Haddonfield Road in Cherry Hill. You have reached our voicemail. Your call is important to us, so please leave your name and phone number. We will return your call as soon as possible. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Hi, this is Ada. My phone number is 610-638-9635. Um, I'm calling. I just made an appointment for Monday, the 21st um, of March, and I want to keep that appointment. I know I called and I wanted to keep the appointment that I have tomorrow, but I also want to keep the appointment that I'm having on Monday if it hasn't already been booked um yeah once again please call me and let me know thank you bye okay so as you can see this is definitely not my shade but it it, it works trust me we make it work And then again, I put a lot on. I was like, no reason. Pushing into my hairline. Make sure it's not supposed to go. I'm looking at the viewfinder. See? Whole eye. I'm covering. Yeah, I definitely look more than I than I needed to.
But like I said, we're still gonna make it work. Don't you wear your sweet, sweet pretty head about that. Okay, so this is where we at. And as you can tell, like there's tons of sun. Like this is just natural lighting. And as you can tell, this ain't a skin color. But we're gonna fix it. We're gonna fix it. I am using the Kosas Concealer in 8.8 .8 Neutral. And I put this on first, and you guys are gonna be like, for what? I put this on first so that the concealer that I'm about to use blends a whole lot better. And it just looks better because the concealer that I have is super bright. So this just kind of dull, dulls it down. So. When I mix them, it look good. Oh, I should always be careful with something. I might have to buy another one of these, so. Am I in the light? Should I move over some? Is this better? Because I feel like this side is dark. We just made it do what it do. Okay, so that's on there. Now I'm moving on to concealer. This is the cream bronzer from um, Anastasia Beverly Hill, and this is in cool bronze. I'm gonna use a small dual fire brush to put this drawer in. I'm gonna just dab, 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 dab. And then I think I'll take uh, like this don't 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 for brush. I don't know how to say it. What is this? Okay, it just has numbers. And I'm just gonna brush that up and then just back and forth. Trying not to move it too much because I want my face to just be like super snatched. Okay. break then for you guys. I don't know if you are on spring break already. Not on spring break. What's the deal? My school has already had their spring break. Oh, I'm trying to down too much. It's okay. Cover it up. 
And then for my concealer, I'm using a beauty blender. I didn't even put the other concealer on top. And I've already started putting it out. I'm glad I only put that one line out. Oh. And the concealer that I'm talking about is a Fenty Beauty concealer and is is in the is 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 is, is <laughs> it is in the shade 385. Oh wait, I'm gonna lay this down. See how much lighter it is in that color. And it looks like a lot, and that's because it's a lot. Cause my foundation does not match my skin color. Like it's way too, like it's way too warm for me. So I'm using my concealer to kind of mesh everything together. All right, uh, my camera is about to die. So I'm going to pop in a new one and we're going to start from here. I just started contouring and I mean just started concealing and contouring and I forgot to take y'all. I forgot to push record. I'm sorry. But we're recording. And I'm doing the same thing that I did before. Only trick that I said if I'm starting to trick, I think everybody does this. I kind of blend out with this and then around the circumference to make it look really, really neutral. I just blend out with the with the butt around the the edge. That's the only thing I said. Okay. And sometimes you just gotta see. Especially when you are trying to do your under eyes and you got a lot of concealer on your hand eyes. I just feel like it takes you a while to blend it. And when you blend it, you gotta make sure it's blended. See? Now my eyebrow is a little messed up on this side. And then I gotta go fix it. Now I'm gonna set my under eye. I'm using the Huda Beauty um, in the shade Cinnamon Bun.
<laughs> Before I used to put the powder in the in the cap and use it. Ugh. And to me, that's how I always know that I don't need any more powder under my eyes is when it doesn't soak up the powder like it does when you first put it on your face. Um, yeah. So I'm going to take this same, what is it, do, that, do fiber brush that I used. And I'm going to blend it out. Okay, now I'm gonna do my, I'm just gonna set the contour. And I just pinched the brush right there so I don't know. Okay, and then I'm gonna set the whole face with the Sephora Micro Smooth in the shade Deep. And people say, set it on the face, right? You said, there's powder everywhere on my face, like. <sighs> Damn it, I'm, I haven't drank any water today. I just want to swallow this minute. Oh, 
Watch it. It's right there. Something in my ear. All right. Now I'm gonna go in and set my face with the Stay All Day Blue Light Micro Setting Mist. Long black thing there. I just picked this up. So let's see. I'm putting this on at 1122. Let's say I'm not black. And I'll come back and show you. Okay. Ooh. smells like something from a hospital <coughs> but I love the the mist well oh child <sighs> oh. okay now I'm gonna go in I'm just gonna do my eyes for my eyes, I'm going to use the Friends and Makeup Revolution combination. If y'all don't know, I am like a stone hard Makeup Revolution um, fan. I have to show y'all one day my closet. I mean, not my closet, my cabinet. Not my cabinet. <laughs> my drawer of... Um, Revolution stuff. It's insane. It borderlines obsessed. Good. I'm normal. Okay. So I don't know what I'm doing. Um. And I want to stop doing the looks that I have been doing. Like. Like. Come on. like I'm doing the same things over and over and over again. Okay. Okay, so let's see what we got. These are the shades. So, I'm, I, I want to do a warm look. I don't want it to be dark. I don't want it to be red. I just, I want to do like a nice, Look, I just I want it to be. I want it to be. Warm. There's nobody over there, by the way. It's just me talking to me. Oh, I'm gonna start out with this little inch. Put that. Where's my? You know what? I'm gonna put this on the horns on my eyelid. I used the wrong brush. What you gonna do? Use the same color, repeating the same exact step. Okay, now I need to blend this bad boy out. Do I need a tiny brush? Yeah, I'm gonna use a tiny brush. I'm gonna, then I'm gonna go into the like, peach color that's right next to it. And that's gonna be the color to blend it out with. Oh, 
Oh, okay. I like this. I like the look of it here. And to be completely honest with y'all, I'm not going anywhere. I pulled out a pink blush thinking, oh my, it's a pink little look. It's not working. I should have known it wasn't going to work when I pulled out this blush. This, I mean, palette. But I love the colors. And I just, I haven't, I haven't used it as much as I wanted to. There's a lot of palettes I have. Um, stashed away from Makeup Revolution. From Makeup Revolution that I have not touched I'm so proud because of both a lot of them I got from um TJ Maxx to be honest with you mm -hmm. okay now I'm gonna lay a shade down on top of this orange I'm gonna use the shape right next to it. It's pigments. So I'm gonna leave it now. I just want them to look patchy as the day goes by. But I really like it. It just takes a lot of fucking work to get to what you need to get to. If I knew it was gonna come off like that, I would have put some of the NYX glitter glue on here. The um the elf mist is helping my setting spray. It's helping. to use in my finger. Which is what I should have done a long time ago. Let me 
So this is what we have so far. Put the eyes in the way. That's done. With the eyes currently, I'm not gonna say anyway. Because I'm gonna take this small brush and I'm gonna repeat what we did up top on the back top. So first one. And I'm not putting that on my eye, under my eye. It's, it's too much of a battle to try to put the glitter on. I don't know. Those three, I don't. They are finished. Okay. Mascara. Beast, baby. There was another um, brand that just came out with. Pretty cool makeup face. At least the bottle looks cool from where I was in. But it's one of those cake things that's like, what exactly do y'all do? And I mean, like, even this, what exactly do they do? Like, just makeup bases in general. Because the mascara that I'm about to use, it's, it's, it's amazing. Like, it's amazing. Yeah, I don't even gotta use no mask. I don't gotta use no primer. Okay, while that is drying, I guess, I have to pick a new shade. Uh, did this work? Right. I'm gonna use this. It's like a deep, like a, a burnt. This is the MUA, I mean the Morphe 8W blushers. This is what they look like. And I'm mixing these two right here. Why I mix them? Hmm. I like them. I like the way they look.
sitting here thinking about it. I have other um, shades or other palettes that I have, but I have not used. But I just had to have them when I bought it. Um, I have the Huda Beauty um, Rose Quartz. I have the Huda Beauty Micro Grade. Um, I have tons of makeup revolutions. Like I, I y'all honestly don't understand when I say I have tons of makeup revolution um, palettes. Like it's ridiculous. Um, and then I have a couple of Morphe palettes. Um, yeah. So, hmm, can I tell y'all? This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Primer. And then now I'm going in with the Maybelline Sky High. And I don't know if y'all can see the difference, but I sure can. I'm a little tiny and it's just growing into something that someone can look at and say, you got lashes. You got lashes, girl. You do. Okay, come on. No, I told me only so many times a day how we're in. It's okay. It's just how, how we love each other. Her children will be weird, so. I hope so, anyway. If my children are boring, I'm gonna be like, oh my god, please don't be like this. <laughs> Learn from me. I'm gonna sit them in the front of five burgers and they're just gonna watch it until they absorb everything that happens in the shows. I don't know if they can pick up that cursing. Cause they don't. Um and I don't know how to bleep cursing. This is the Makeup Makeup Revolution Eyeliner in the shape of black. Okay, um, I, w I didn't want to get makeup on my shirt, but I still got makeup on my shirt. Okay, so what's next? Should I do my lips? No, let me set my face. Alcohol and aloe vera mixed together. That's what that smells like. Yep. All right. While my face is wet, I'm just gonna go in and set everything. been removed but usually when you redo something or cover something up 
It does. Very low. I'm just gonna go back. That's a flush, all right. <sighs> and the lips. And my lips are still moisturized. Good, good, good. I'm going in with the Buxom Power Liner in the shade Creamy Chocolate. Okay, that's a clever. Um, uh, lipstick. This is definitely a lipstick. Um, this is in the shade. This is one of the lip lingeries. This is from NYX. Um, and it's in the shade Dusk to Dawn. Please be good to me. Yeah, it does dry down. So that's what makes me to be good to me. That looks cute. That's very cute. I'm fine. So I need another cold voice I just just come over. This is a dry. Yeah, we'll go there with your teeth. 
No, I didn't. Look at that. Okay. <clears throat> All right, going in with another shade. I'm not going to keep it matte. <clears throat> I'm going to use the Extreme from Essence. This is the Extreme Shine Volume Lip Gloss. I saw this on, uh, I was up and I was looking at, like, what is it? Damn it, what is this called? Shorts? On, um, Facebook, Instagram, whatever that thing may be. Um, and I saw this and then I was like, ooh, this lip gloss, that's amazing. It's only $20. I'm like, oh my god, I gotta try it. So I went to Ulta and I, yeah, Ulta and I purchased it. I love it so much better with the gloss. And this gloss is filled with glitter. This is nice. I'm enjoying the look. Hell, the taste test, though. Let me see what the camera says. Alright y'all, so the camera said, you look good girl, you look nice. I was like, okay. I was like this. And I was like this. And I was like this. <laughs> Let me out. Um, but yeah, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I loved creating it for you guys. Um, look out for more videos. If you aren't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. Please. Please. Because y'all see how many subscribers I got. It's not that many. So please go ahead and subscribe. Um, also hit that like button if you liked what you saw. Oh, and notification button if you want to see stuff that I am putting up. Um, in the videos to come. Or in the days to come, I guess. That's what I should say. <laughs> Alright, bye guys.